Oh man, crashing a car is never fun. track it's like the second day we haven't drifted at all that day uh, super grippy tires on the back Kendis 275 200 tread wear and I'm with Jess in the car and we just take off it's just a long straightaway so you know first second third and we initiate up on the bank and giving it gas and the car is drifting but all of a sudden I see like the car is going towards the wall so pretty much I like tense up, which is the thing you don't want to do. And I rip brake, rip handbrake, rip foot brake, everything, and just like hold on. And I know I'm going into the wall and I just smack the front of the car. So the only thing I can think of that happened is number one, I probably ran out of talent. I should have stayed in the gas. Uh, whenever, whenever you're in doubt, throttle out. So that's number one, what I should have done. And I didn't do that. Uh, natural instinct was just to slam on the brakes, you know, and I know better than that. Number two, from what I see, nobody was running the high line on the oval. So there was tons of marbles in there. And I think that's what contributed to me starting to feel the car wash out. So we were running the highest line that we can, like we always do. And I just picked up the marbles and started washing the car out to the wall. So I think, those things combined is really what led to my demise uh, in wrecking the car. So we tore it apart and there's a bunch of stuff that's messed up. Man, it is messed up in here. Control arm was bent. The guys at the track, Trevor's team straightened it out, thank God. But I don't even know how I'm gonna fix these uh, bolt holes in the frame rail. So the upper control arm bolts into the frame rail and yeah, I don't know if they're stripped or those are bolted in. I don't even know how to fix that. I should have studied it, but that's just how it goes. I need to take off this strut, send it to feel because I'm not sure if I bent the strut or messed it up. It doesn't look like it's leaking any. Thank God stage wheel, the Monroe's took most of the impact or bent and the control arm looks like it took a lot of it too, but uh, the headlight bucket's broken, oil cooler's bent. Oh man, crashing a car is never fun. All right, so now I'm gonna remove all this stuff. We just took the wheel off, saw the suspension damage, but I really need to get in here, look at the headlight, look at the frame and the oil cooler and all that good stuff, so time to take this off. We tore it apart and there's a bunch of stuff that's messed up. So we've got the graveyard out there in the back, you know, there's like $1,700 with the parts that's damaged. And we've got another, another probably thousand dollars worth of parts on the car that's messed up. But that's just the name of the game. You know, you go drifting. Uh, I definitely learned a lesson. I should have warmed up my tires. I should have just driven the track. I should have just driven the high line, maybe try to pick up some of those marbles and take it off there. And next time I can't tense up, I just need to floor it. So anybody who's running a high line on the bank, if you feel the car washing out going towards the bank, just give it gas and just like turn. So you could like pitch the car away from it. I know it sounds weird and it's easier said than done because I didn't do it, but. Yeah, rough. So now I have to get started tearing into it. It's gonna be all the tedious stuff, like removing all the suspension out and dropping the oil cooler and taking all this busted fiberglass out. So just a lot of the tedious, just stuff that, you know, how it goes removing go. stuff. But not excited for it. Wish I could just be driving the car with the boys and hanging out. It's the name of the game though, you know, we gotta we got do it, so. We gotta do it. So we're gonna keep tearing into the car. Stay tuned for the next video to see everything we found and what we have to do to repair it.